Okay, in this video episode, I am going to show you how to add and subtract matrices. There are three elements to consider when it comes to adding and subtracting matrices. The first one is you can only add or subtract matrices of the same order, of the same dimensions. In other words, if you have a three row by two column matrix, you can only add it or subtract it to another three row by two column matrix. Now, the next element to consider is that you can only add and subtract corresponding elements. So row one, column one can only be added to row one, column one. And finally, the last element to consider when it comes to adding and subtracting matrices is that the answer will always be of the same dimension, of the same order as the previous matrices you're adding or subtracting. So let's do some demonstrations so we can start to gain more clarity with respect to rows and columns. Now, all matrices have got rows and columns and it's denoted in many textbooks as M by N, rows for the M, columns for the N. So let's have a look at some examples. Let's say we have a matrix and it's one like that. How many rows and columns does that have? It has one, two, three, four rows and two columns. So that's a four by two. And if I grab another matrix and I put it up here, right there. This one is a different one. It's one, two, three rows by one, two, three columns. So that's a three by three. Can we add these two or subtract these two matrices? No, we can't. Many of you guessed correctly. You can't. Why? Because they are of different order and they are of different dimensions. This is a four by two, three by three. You cannot add it. It is not defined. But what you can do as I take this one down is that I can add so this one, that one. So that's a four by two. This is also a four by two. One, two, three, four rows by two columns, four by two. Can I add these two guys together? Yes, I can. I can add them together. Let's try another two. Can you add and subtract these two guys? Just put that there. That's a three by three. And can I add that to say, this one over here, three by three. Yes, they are of the same order, same dimension, three by three. You can add them together easily. You can subtract them together because they have corresponding elements. So let me just take these down quickly and we'll do a couple of examples, one addition and one subtraction. So let me just clear this off over here. Okay, let me just expose the first one. Is the first one. We'll be adding these two matrices together. Okay, the first one is four, negative three, five. And we have two, one, zero. First of all, let's check out the dimensions, rows and columns. The first one is one, two, three by one. So that's a three by one matrices, and this is a three by one matrices. Three rows by one column. So the answer will be also a three by one. And yes, you can add them because they are of the same dimension of the same order. So let's go ahead and add them. All we have to do is add corresponding elements. So I'll just put the brackets in. This is a very easy process. So we simply add the same corresponding elements, row one, column one, we have the four and the two. Let's add them together. Okay, let's add the next one. Row two, column one, row two, column one, negative three plus one. And row three, column one, row three, column one, five plus zero. All we have to do is simplify. The answer will be Again, of the same order, it will be a three by one, since the other two are three by one. So let's add them together. Nothing could be easier. Four plus two is negative three plus one is, and five plus nothing is five. And that's our answer. You know, three by one, six, negative two, five of matrices. They're gonna be of the same order this time. Let's subtract them. So let me just unveil it for you. There we go. The first matrix is a what? Dimensions. That's a two row by two column. 
two by two, and that's two rows by two columns. Yes, we can add them together. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Corresponding elements, row one, column one, row one, column one, seven and three. We're going to subtract now. So we put a seven up here. Notice the minus sign there. So we take away positive three. Let's go row one, column two, row one, column two, five, take away negative six. Notice there's two negatives here. Five, take away negative six. And down below we have row two, column one, row two, column one, three, take away four, three minus four. And we have row two, column two, row two, column two, zero, take away negative one, two minuses, watch out for that. Okay, let's simplify these. The answer will be a two by two, as the first two are also two by twos. So let's go for the answer. Let's simplify each element. Seven, take away three, that's gonna give us a value of four. Five, take away negative six, that's a big plus there. Two negatives make a plus. Five plus six is positive 11. Three, take away four, that's going to give us and finally, zero, take away negative one, two negatives gives us a positive, so that's a positive one. And that's our answer. And please note again that it's also a two by two. And there you go.